Hey there, English speakers. Jesse here. And today is part two of our two-part lesson on past simple and past continuous verbs. Today is past continuous. So if you look at the worksheet you can download at Language Galaxy, you'll see on the bottom of the past simple worksheet, the past continuous. And you'll see charts and timelines and places for you to write your own examples. But first, let's look at the past continuous form. The past continuous is made up of a subject, which can be a noun or a pronoun, and then the be verb, was or were, that's your past tense verb, plus the present participle. So it's for the positive form, the subject, plus was or were, plus the ing form. And for the negative, the subject, and was not, or were not, and the ing form. And on the question form, you reverse the subject and the was or were. So it's was, subject, ing. So you can download these and other worksheets at Language Galaxy to help you in your English learning. Let's get started. So the chart shows you how to use past continuous. Now let's look at the rules so we know when to use the past continuous. Rule number one, we use the past continuous when we're referring to something that happened in the past, but it's been interrupted, so it hasn't completed. The past simple talks about actions that have happened in the past and been completed in the past. But the past continuous is used for actions or ideas that have not been completed. So let's look at an example. I was eating breakfast when she called. I was eating breakfast when she called. That is past continuous because I was eating breakfast, I wasn't finished, and then she called. And then I probably finished after. So look at the rule, look at the example, and draw a picture on the timeline that shows rule number one. Great. So rule number one, an action that has been interrupted without being finished in the past. We could draw something like this. An action that was interrupted in the past and maybe you completed it after. So an action in the past that has been interrupted. So, if we look at the chart, I was eating breakfast when she called. Great. So, look at the example, look at the rule, and write your own examples below my example. I'll wait here. Are you finished? Good. So let's move on to rule number two. We use the past continuous tense when we're referring to two parallel actions that were happening at the same time. So two parallel actions that were happening at the same time. For example, the ant was working while the grasshopper was playing games. The ant was working while the grasshopper was playing games. The ant was working and the grasshopper was playing games. So how would we draw on the timeline two parallel actions that were happening in the past? Pause the video and draw on your timeline.
OK, great. So two parallel actions that were happening at the same time in the past. Remember, it's in the past. But two parallel actions that were happening at the same time. I would just draw two parallel lines on your timeline, more or less. But you get the idea. Two parallel actions that were happening at the same time. So if we look at the example, the ant was working while the grasshopper was playing games. The ant was working while the grasshopper was playing games. Or if you look at my second example, example number two, the question, what were you doing while I was talking? What were you doing while I was talking? So that is the past continuous. Pause the video and write your own examples below. Write a positive form, a negative form, and a question form. OK, great. If you're not finished, pause the video and finish your examples. If you are finished, let's move on to rule number three. Rule number three is the general idea of the past continuous. It's an action that has happened in the past, but it hasn't been completed, or you're not finished talking about it. So in my example below, I read a book about JFK. I read a book about JFK. What tense is that? Yes, it's the past simple. We learned that in the last video. But if you say, I was reading a book about JFK, it means you're probably not finished talking. You're probably not finished your story, or you're not finished the book. So I was reading a book about JFK, and his life is really interesting. Or I was reading a book about JFK, but I'm not finished yet. Or I was reading a book about JFK last week. The idea is you're not quite finished yet. So pause the video and write on the timeline what this picture would look like. So if we go over to our timeline, and we go to the past, you can write, show that you were doing an action, but it hasn't been completed. Good. So pause the video now and write your own examples below my example. OK, great. Are you finished? OK. So let's move on to rule number four. We often use the past continuous tense with specific time references. So something you were doing at a specific time. Something you were doing at a specific time. So for example, yesterday at 5 o'clock, I was making a video. Yesterday at 5 o'clock, I was making a video. So if you were doing something before a time and after a time, and the time reference is in the middle, you use the past continuous. So look at your timeline, look at the rules and examples, and draw a picture for rule number four of the past continuous. Okay, great. So something in the past, remember, always in the past. 
if it's a past tense verb. Something that you were doing in the past and mark that there was a time reference. I'll use a T. There was a time reference somewhere while you were doing something. And note that time reference doesn't necessarily mean a specific time. A time reference can be a time in general. What were you doing last evening? I was watching TV. So it can be something general or a day. What were you doing last Tuesday? I was working all day. So, but a time reference for something you were continually doing. Hence, past continuous. Okay, great. That's past continuous. Well done. So if you combine this with the past simple lesson, hopefully you can start to understand how to use them in the correct situations. If you have any questions, contact me on Facebook or Twitter. And go to languagegalaxy.net for other materials and sign up for the forum and chat with me. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Two parallel actions that were happening at the same time in the past. Action number one and action number two. Those are awful parallel lines.